All glory, honor, and praises unto the heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who wrote well. And salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect Akio. I wanted to get into the account in Exodus 14 when the Most High dealt the final death blow unto the Egyptians in his destruction of the Egyptian Empire, which was the the known ruler of the world at the time, the the um the ruling empire of the known world at the time, okay, and was a a massive, powerful um, power, okay, and their might and um, the all the splendor of that place, okay all the uh the mil- their military might as well as their um look the the wonders okay the so called the wonders of the world what all the that architecture over there okay it was a so called uh, glorious kingdom man all right and the most high destroyed it and brought fear to all the nations of the world okay everyone was on their knees in in uh in fear to this power okay and that's going to happen again in this time all right it tells us that that it was only for the most highest purpose that he allowed this this uh this demon from the depths you saw eat him and everything he's done okay to the, the nations of the world to the most highest creation, okay? This this fucking uh the villain against nature is gonna be is gonna be eradicated, man. And he's gonna do so in the most high in um he's gonna do it in a fashion to where everybody's gonna know and bring and return um in subjection to the Most High. All right. Everybody is going to go back and be fucking completely on their face to the Most High. All right. To know that not only does he rule in the kingdom of men, but he orchestrates everything that goes down here. He's He is everything. All right. This is in Exodus 17, 14 and 17. Because it's, we see here that the Most High continually hardened Pharaoh's heart. All right? He fucking, um, he pretty much propelled him into putting more sub- subjugation on the, the Israelites. And he propelled them to, to hold them fast as well as uh, pursue them to destroy them in that final attack, okay? The Most High fucking influenced influenced the thoughts, okay, of the king of the Egyptian empire to do what he did, which eventually, which really is what got him destroyed, okay? But that's what the Most High is doing right now with this man, Esau, Edom, the wicked of the Bible. He's building this motherfucker up, allowing him to, to, to just go rampant with his, his um, policies of, of destruction. Okay. What he's, do, what he's doing with, with the earth. I mean, he's completely poisoned and polluted the entire fucking earth to where no flesh will be left to be saved. All right. He's allowing this man to get built up pretty much um, bigger and and stronger than any empire that has ever existed. Okay? So he can fucking take him down. And and so and so the world will know and be in more fear. Okay. The bigger this guy gets built up, the more 
the more in fear and the more honor the Most High is going to get into himself, man. You see? That's why this guy is likening himself into the Most High. Okay? That's how built up he is to where the world thinks that this motherfucker is the Most High. Okay? So it says, and I beho behold, and I behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. Okay. And once again, it's said twice, it's mentioned twice for a reason to put that much more impact. Okay, it's very rarely is a scripture pretty much duplicated. <laughs> okay, like this in in these um in the compi compilation of the entire scriptures, very rarely do you see it twice like this. Okay, to show you the um the gravity of of this situation of the Most High's uh, honor. Upon upon the world and all his creation. Think about this. You created something, and it's fucking it's it's blowing you off. Okay, you're gonna fucking destroy that thing. But but in um in glorious fashion, are you going to? Before, are you going to show them that you're <laughs> that you're their maker, man? Okay. And that's exactly what's gonna happen this time. These people that. It's in a. It's like a f the most high spirit around the world. Uh, the world, and in this society with the people, okay, all over um, the media, social media. Well, that whole thing is about narcissism. It's ushered in the narcissism epidemic, which is, at that point, you you just gotta uh, destroy the people. You gotta put them to death. You gotta you gotta euthanize them, because. That that when when pride has fucking uh, spread throughout this place like a fucking cancer, okay. It's likened unto you being um, a fucking sociopath. You know you're destroyed in the fucking mind, and that's what it's done. It said there's uh, statements that said social media is going to be the death of society, and it already has. <laughs> Okay, but in in um in fucking violent um, epic fashion is the Most High going to make this um, make it known unto all His creation that He He is the 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 beginning and the end. Okay, He is the the heavenly Father. That He is the Most High. That he is Yahweh, that he is. <laughs> All right, that he is. We're going to get this in Romans 9 to 17. It says, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. And that my name might de be declared throughout all the earth. All right. That's the purposes of the Most High allowing this man to get built up. Well, actually, man, he's fucking. He's orchestrating the thoughts and actions of this guy. So he's controlling him to build him up so that he, when he takes him down, he will get. Um, fame and glory upon himself okay honor as it was mentioned that we should get through the spirit Lord will let's get that word honor in the paleo in the uh, in the Hebrew it's, it, I guess there's the whole phrase and I will get me honor okay 
to be honorable, to be glorious, to be honored. Okay, he's going to be honored when he does this. To be rich. Okay, enjoy honor, to be made abund abundant, to get oneself glory. <laughs> so he's going to, he's going to get himself glory. It's like in into um, when you get kills. When you look at battle and shit like that, that brings you um, honor and glory. You get fucking uh, medals when you go into a different military. Um, different the sh military structures and how they, they fucking, um, what do they call it? Motherfucker who's decorated, okay, to get all these different um, badges and, and medals and different accolades for your military feats, okay? And what do you think that came from? Came from the mind of the Most High, as we just mentioned. Even all thoughts are influenced by the Most High. Even all, all speech, like it says in Proverbs 16, the preparations of the tongue, okay, is from the Most High. And we don't even know what we're going to say next, let alone do. You see? So it says, uh, let's get it in the Strong's to make weighty, okay? I mentioned the gravity. That's the term used to say you're going to understand the, the weight of, of this power and of, and, of your, and of your defiance to this power that the, this world is on a, on a tip of. A complete defiance to the Most High. Like, I'm, I'm not really dealing with that right now. Right? Well, the Most High is going to meet you viciously. Okay? Let's see. To boast. Okay? It says, uh... To make self many. No, as in nobles, okay, to prevail, to promote, to honor, all right, and that what comes to mind with that scripture it uh is the scripture that promotion cometh neither from uh from the east or west, but from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay. I'm gonna just use that term in the strongs to to promote, okay. That is gonna be the case in the day of destruction in the most high's display. Alright? In this display of destruction and terror, all right fucking uh, vicious kills that the Most High is going to get. Let's get this. What did it say down here? Oh, he wiped him out. Let's see. It says... Uh, in the 30th verse, Exodus 14, Thus Yahweh saved Israel that day out of the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which Yahweh HaBashim Yahweh did upon the Egyptians, and the people feared Yahweh HaBashim Yahweh and believed Yahweh HaBashim Yahweh and his servant Moses. Okay. So, well, these kids, uh, that... death and destruction on every side wars on all fronts in all realms okay and everyone is gonna the, the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is gonna be put in everyone okay so that he can give fame and power and glory to his name okay 
and that his name shall be declared throughout all the earth. So with that, all honor, praise, and glory unto our power. Shai, Hashem, Rokha, Kadash.